What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com and today we're going to show you a cool tape saturation plugin you may be interested in and you can try it for free. So let's get into it. <laughs> it's been out for a while. It's been out, but I got to show you this plugin. It's called Reels. Let me pull this up. Reels. <laughs> this has been out for a minute, man. Shout out to Audio Thing. This is basically a saturation plugin. Okay, so you can. This is for the guys who really want that uh, that dirty sound. It's perfect for boom bap, lo-fi, just to add that extra filthiness to it. That filth, filth. You know what I'm saying? And grit. Check this out, man. I would normally put this on the master track but i want you to hear it on a single track so i'm using this little ep right classic electric piano and i'm going to apply it to that so check this out you got jp it front and uh, fr france i guess japan italy and france those are the different types of uh tapes so You have your different tape speeds slower faster here's Italy you hear the difference here's France slower speed so that that's off the bat man and you can even see the the GUI slow and fast that's crazy man but personally to me I, I feel like Japan is the best one all right so that's that so let's move on to a uh, harshness which basically is your um, you know your distortion you can adjust that all right Your wow flutter. Matter of fact, I should just turn all these down so you could really hear what everything does. That's the harshness, right? Makes it, you know, adds distortion. Now, wow flutter. Listen to that. That's going to mimic like your pitch. You know, when the, when your playback, back in the day, those old tape machines had those little playback issues. <laughs> All right. And now let's do ducking. Ducking. Listen to this. Ducking is going to give you just random volume loss. Okay. And you'll be able to hear this better if you have this little pre pre emphasis, which is down here, and that has to do with your uh, your higher frequencies. You can really tell. All right, and then you have cross talk, and that's basically you know crossing over between your left and right channel. So I would just keep that in the middle like that. All right, then you have hiss. Listen to that. Okay, I would never put that much on there. But then you also have this motor noise. Listen to this. That's that, you know, that the, when the tape heads are spinning and uh, it, oh man. Okay, now over here you have the envelope, which means it's gonna cut off at the point where there's no audio. So if you have that off, then it's just, you, you'll hear the whole effect, right? But if you cut this on, and then there's a break in the audio, then it will cut off. You wouldn't hear this effect at all. So, you know, for me, I would just prefer 
it to just stay off. That way you can hear the effect the whole time. All right, so that's that. Down here you have echo, which is just all. Oh, this is self-explanatory. This has to do with your delay, so I can turn that on. Feedback. You can sync it. Sync it to whatever um, BPM is in your DAW. So you can get kind of weird with that. If you have wet only, that means it's just the effect without the dry signal. Of course, you got your master, your input, output, all that self-explanatory. Then you have a limiter. I advise you to keep that on. That way you won't have any clipping. You can use mono. And then also, this is really cool. Check this out. This little tape stop section. Watch this. Stop it. Bring it back. And you can adjust the speed. Adjust the speed of it. <laughs> right? And then you have your peak over here. If that flash is red, that means it's, it's too hot. And you can adjust your mix over here and that's pretty much it man crazy this thing is crazy <laughs> now what i love about this it again is you have several presets so i can go in here and mess with these different echoes or or tape you know presets and just call it the day so again i could go to my um let's get out of that open this one all right, so I'm in my master track. I could go to my factory and choose just like say, for example, I wanted master vintage. And then that would be my whole, you know, preset. And you might like how that sounds just as is, you know. Take this click off. Let's apply this to a beat I was working on. You could use something like this just to add that extra flavor to it, you know, that extra boom bap, extra vintage sound, you know. <laughs> and there you go. I'll leave the link below if you're interested. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm sitting in peace and positive energy. <laughs> y'all got any questions so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos on the way please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check out all the links down below i'll see you guys on the next one i'm sending peace and positive energy <laughs>